In case you haven't noticed by now, me and my brothers grew up with the NES as our main game console. In fact, it wasn't until around uh, 97 that I bought myself a Super Nintendo and some games to go with it at a yard sale. Until then, we had fun playing the games on the NES, especially since NES games were cheap at that point. One of the games in my small collection was Knight Rider, and like the TV show it was based on, the Knight Rider game was extremely 80s. And I'll admit, I did watch the show as a kid when the reruns were playing regularly on USA Network. But, like with all the other games in my collection, I've had to search and gather quote-unquote new copies of the games I had as a kid. All thanks to my dad and the aged bulldog he calls his wife. And though the game itself plays just fine, the cart shell has seen better days. Before, all you could really do was either buy another copy and huck the first one if you wanted a clean looking cartridge, or just live with the ugly. But it's 2017, and we now live in a world where reproduction or repro games are a thing. And there are plenty of places online to find replacement parts for a reasonable price. And that's what we're doing. Nothing major. I just thought I'd show you guys how easy it is to make a game look pretty. What? I said pretty. Fight me! <laughs> the amazing Rando! Now, it's not all that difficult to replace a cartridge casing. You just need the right tools and a replacement casing. Now I went online and I found a new case for it and I think it's uh, fairly appropriate. Now, like I said, you do need the uh, proper tools to open it up and uh, that's what I have here. In case you wanted to know and get one yourself, what this is is the 3.8 game bit. It is the uh, it's basically a Torx bit that they used for the uh, NES cartridges. For the game consoles themselves, they used a slightly bigger one, and I have a bit for that too. Get out of here. And that would be the 4.5 game bit. Now you can go online and, uh, and uh, search for that and these will come up, or you have the actual tools themselves. There'll be a screwdriver type tool with this bit. Take your pick, whichever you want, just the bit itself or, or an actual tool. It's personal preference. As long as it works, it doesn't matter. So, here we go. And there we have it, out of the old and into the new. Now there are some subtle differences between the repro cart and the uh, 
original. For example, the uh, Nintendo logo stamped in the bottom half of it. And, uh, yeah, the new cart doesn't have that. Also, for a while, this is going to be without labels. Now, online I can get the uh, little warning label on the back, and it will say reproduction on it, which is fine, because, yes, the, the board itself is the original game, but it's not in the original shell. I just wanted a nice new shell for one of my games, and I thought it would be appropriate that Knight Rider be in black. As far as the main label goes, uh, I'd rather avoid trying to peel this off because I have a strong feeling that uh, trying to peel the original label off of the old shell to apply to this cartridge shell is not going to go well. So either I'll make a new label or find someone who can make a new label for me. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave a comment down below. And tell you what, give me some suggestions of uh, other games to either add to my collection, do a let's play of, or maybe do more techie type stuff like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.